for luck. Cut for luck. Okay, then we have to rock, paper, scissors. Ready? All right, uh, welcome to the Play Properly channel. We're about to start the rematch of the Smash Up uh, Power Combo. The, the, the Power Combo Showdown. Uh, mm. So we had uh, initially, we had a couple rounds actually. Um, initially we played Robot Zombies versus Pirate Cyborg Apes. The Robot Zombies came out on top. Uh, our second game that we played was the Alien Killer Plants versus the Superhero Thieves. And uh, in that particular game, it was very, very close towards the end. And the Alien Killer Plants uh, won, but we discovered on review of the video that there was a critical error that was made. And I allege that had that error not been made, the Superhero Thieves would have come out on top. So, uh, we are doing a rematch of the Alien Killer Planets versus the Superhero Thieves. I'll be playing the Superhero Thieves. And um, just, just as an added note, uh, we then, for the second round, for Ice the third round, we, we, we played the two winning combos. So it was the Robot Zombies against the Alien Killer Planets. And much to my surprise, not, not a lot of surprise, but a little bit of surprise, the Alien Killer Planets won. Uh, the Superhero Thieves also in uh, one of our unrecorded previous games defeated the uh, Robot Zombies as well. So both the Alien Killer Planets and the Superhero Thieves have both defeated uh, the Robot Zombies, which was our uh, candidate best, potentially our candidate best uh, combo. So this playoff yeah. is a rematch, rematch. and yeah. also potentially... Uh, the Larry, winner. Larry's playing potentially the, the winning combo, so this is we think perhaps one of the best combo matchups. All right, blah blah blah. All right, so let's uh, maybe do the bases. Um, now, actually, we should probably talk about how we do the bases. I know somebody asked that under one of our other videos because uh, the official rule, the, well, the updated rule, is you're supposed to just use the bases from the expansions of the factions being used. Uh, which sounds great until you try to pull the bases out, and I find, you know, for me, you know, they're not marked. They're, you yeah. know, you have to, just a lot of memory. You just says, remember which bases go with what factions. Even like it, it's getting to the point where there's so many expansions. I can't remember where which faction yeah. came with what expansion. A A G kind of dropped the ball there. They should have been printing little. Uh, you, you know, you, you've got your faction logo on the cards. Why yeah. didn't they put the faction logo on the bases? That would have been a simple thing, but they yeah. didn't do that. So, and they don't have to put it on top. They can put it on the facing side, just like everything else. But anyways, yeah. they didn't. So, and, and also the other problem is if you're playing multiple games in a tournament or something, uh, it's yeah. not it's not possible. It's actually like not possible to play the way that they describe. So what we've done is gone back to the original book. Yeah. So the the original manual and then the uh, the base uh, set uh, says you just put all the bases in a random heap and that's what we've done. So we've got all the bases. Yeah. Now this is my set. I'm I'm missing yeah. a couple of the random promo factions, so I don't have sheep and I don't and have the all stars. Uh, all stars. Yeah. Uh, but every other base in the game, including mm -hmm. uh, up to and including the new expansion. Yeah. Which is. The uh, World Tour uh, World International World. Incident. So, so we've got all the World Tour base in there, bases in there now as well. Yeah. So uh, we're going to... Well, it's all randomized, and yeah. who knows what's going to come up. Yeah. Okay. So those are Derek's rules. My rules is I just use the factions. I just use the bases from the factions. I keep them actually with the factions now. Which works if you're just playing um, a single game, but if you're doing yeah. multiple games, that doesn't work either. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, uh oh. So. All right, so uh, you cut my deck, did you? Yep, you cut mine. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm going to. I'm. I'm sitting on the side of the camera, so I am going to attempt to keep my hand visible to the camera. We'll see how that goes. All right, and uh, Derek, Derek, if you want to read the bases as they put Right. There. Okay. So the first base, Castle Blood. It's a three-one-one. After you play a minion here, if another player has more power here than you do you may place a plus one power counter on that minion. Okay, next one. Uh, it's Ice's Swinging Pad. It's a 4-2-1. So it's interestingly, both these bases are two-point spreads. The winner may look at the top three cards of his or her deck and return them in any order. Okay, ooh. Uh, wow, all, 
all pretty good bases. So uh, 25, uh, break point 25, the mean street, uh, 5, 3, 2. After a player plays an action that affects a card here, each other player may place a plus one power counter on a minion here. Yeah, that's nasty. Nasty time. Um, so I lost, that means Larry's, I lost the, the draw that is. So Larry starts. And you know what? I got a not a very good hand to start with. I'm just drawing two and it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> so you've done your first turn, you're finished. Yep. Drew. Okay, so I'm gonna start my turn with a minion. Uh, we're playing the mild mannered citizen at the Isis swinging pad. And so the mild mannered citizen says ongoing at the start of your turn, you may destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion of power five or more. Play here as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. Okay. And I will then draw. I shuffle my. I'll have my deck over here so people can see. I'll draw one and two. I'm done. You may go. Oh, I'm going to play Jam Signal on the Mean Streets. Playing a base, I'm going to players ignore this base's ability. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm the alien, so I figure it's going to help you more than me. So I'd rather just eliminate that, and that's basically all I can do. I'm drawing two. Oh, finally. Oh, you got some minions, did you? I finally got some stuff I can do. <laughs> Okay, at the start of my turn, I may destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion of power five or more. Play it here as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. Uh, I will do that. Boom, he dies. I will now search. And it's a shuffle. Searching, 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 searching. That's one thing we noticed, dude, some of the newer expansions, some of the cards aren't saying shuffle. Yeah, it's almost like they meant that. Yeah. I'm just, I, I kind of shuffle my deck a little bit as I search because it's a way to randomize things a little more. Uh, so I have some interesting choices now. Interesting choices, interesting choices. Yeah, I think we're gonna go. We well, need the Master Thief, your, base, your deck's all based on the Master Thief. That's true. You might be able to make some deductions. This is not where you want him to be. There's a swing and pound. Might be able to make some deductions. All right, so we're gonna put the burst at Isis swing and pad. The burst says ongoing after a minion is played on a base, you may move this minion to there. And so the mild matter citizen is dead. Shuffling my deck, and Larry Lewis can give me a random cut for luck. And that that was nothing. That was a free action. It doesn't count as anything. Okay. Like I know. I'll play the Master Thief at Ice's oh. Swing Pad. Get him in your hand. That's my yeah. Yeah. So as I said, you can make some deductions. Okay. So talent. Draw a treasure card. So for those who don't already know, this whole deck revolves around the Master Thief, constantly drawing treasure. So drawing a treasure card. Interesting. Um, okay, the Master Thief is the whole center point of Derek's deck, so. It's rare that I don't get the Master Thief out by turn two. It mm -hmm. does happen, but pretty much always turn two. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw one and two. I'm done. You may go. All right, I'm going to play a Sprout at the Mean Streets. Uh, I'll go and destroy this card at the start of your turn. You may search your deck for a minion of power three or less. Play it here as an extra minion. Shuffle your deck. I'll play it facing that way for the folks at home. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to play an extra minion. I'm going to play a scout into the Isis swinging pad. Okay. Then I draw two, and it's your turn, Derek. Okay, before I do anything else, all right, it's been a while since I played. Yeah. First thing, Master Thief, talent, before I do anything else. Huh. Fantastic. I'm going to play the uh, Halfling Hireling. Uh, he says, you may play an extra minion. That was a treasure card. Or that is a treasure card. So I'm going to play an extra minion. Extra minion is Mild Mattered Citizen. Uh, when I play Mild Mattered Citizen, 
Uh, the burst says ongoing after a minion is played on a base, you may move this minion to there. He'll come to there as well. Join the party. Uh, <clears throat> for my action, I'll then play another treasure card. <clears throat> the action that I play is the jetpack of anachronism. Play on a minion. When this minion goes to the discard pile, place it into its owner's hand instead. On the Master Thief. So Protecting there's, him. There, there's, there's quite a few ways to protect the Master Thief or get him back if he, if and when. Actually, so she, if and when she dies. Uh, uh, that's, I think, the end of my turn. I played action. I played two minions. Drawing. I drew my treasure. So drawing one and two. I'm done. You may go. All right, let's turn my turn. Sprout dies. Oh, look at that, very bottom. Invader. Mm -hmm. Good thing I did a search. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's like right. that, the invader at the very bottom. Cha Ching, first victory point of the game, goes to Laird Lewis with his invader. Put it there. Put there. All right. Deep cut. Good luck. All right. So now I will play a minion. I will play a collector. Uh, I may return a minion to power three unless this base to its owner's hand. The meter will go back into my hand. Mm -hmm. So that's one of his four sprouts done and gone. You know what? I think I will play this one. Uh, the Centigrader. Place a minion of power three or less at the bottom of its owner's deck. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Now, doesn't... After a player plays an action that affects a card here, each other player... Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. I got that there. Like oh, I said, I'm right. aliens. I didn't want to right. give you the benefit of that. Yep. Good call. And I draw two. Okay, my turn. Yep. Before anything else, Master Thief Talent. Okay. Uh, expanded Power. Play Expanded Power on the Master Thief. Play in a minion. This minion has plus one power. <clears throat> uh, and can't be destroyed by other players. I'm not sure if you can do any destruction. Yeah, I got a little bit of destruction. Killer Plants got a little small. Oh, yeah, the Killer Plants. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'll draw two. One, two. I'm done. You may go. All right, playing the Sprout. Again, I'm going to destroy this card at the start of my turn. You may search your deck for minion power three. Last play, here's an extra minion. Shuffle my deck. So that's your second Sprout. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to worry too much about this, but just in case, I'm going to play Deep Roots on the Mean Streets. Playing a base, ongoing with minions here cannot be moved or returned to my hand by their players' abilities. It's kind of more protection against aliens, but mm. just in case you got any ideas. And I'll draw two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, first and foremost, before I do anything else, Master Thief draws treasure. Minion. <clears throat> Fence. You may discard two treasure cards to gain one victory point. Ding. Two victory par uh, two, two treasure cards. Actually, we will do it this way after all. The victory point... Ding, ding. One each. One each. Okay, so my fence is sort of equivalent to his uh, invader, yes. but my fence is a little more onerous to get out. Still have an action to play. Frankly, I'm just not seeing anything I want to play. So I'll draw two, one, and two. I'm done. You may go. All right. Sprout kills itself. Boom. Time to find my other invader. <clears throat> another victory point for me. Oh yeah. Ding ding, ding ding ding. So, as you can see, the aliens 
potentially can be faster. Well, the alien plants can be faster because they can get their sprouts out usually fairly quick. Start dropping the victory points, dropping the invaders. So they're usually a little faster off the draw. But I usually find that my faction... My minion play is going to be another invader. Oh, look at that. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. And my action is going to be Blossom. Yay. Play up to three extra minions that all have the same name. Whoa. And I'm going to put down two collectors. Whoa. That's my invaders. Good up. call. That's nice. Um, arrange it so we can see the power. Yeah, exactly. What is the total power now? Uh, so I, I believe it's 18. I got 10 and you got 6? No, I... Well, yeah, I have 10. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I lost my sprout. That's right. Yeah. Is that what it was? Fair enough. All right, and that ends my turn. I've played my minions. So you got three and I have one point. Yep. My turn before I do anything, draw a treasure card, the Master Thief. Okay. Okay, minion play. We're gonna drop the awesome guy at the mean streets. And so yeah, we're at 21 now? Yep. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Um, for an action? We're 21 power, correct? Yep. Total? Okay, for my action, Justice Friends. Each of your minions of power five or more gains plus two power. It gives me an extra four power, which exactly pops the base. Uh, specials. No. No? Nope. Tapped out. So you get five, I get three. So that catches me up. We're not even. Alright. Good stuff. So we're we're both at six now. This is what I find is that my deck can pull power a lot faster because I got all these fives. Yeah. Um, but he can pull the, the invaders faster than I can get my other guys out. But, you know, it's a bit of a wash, I think. But we're over <laughs> the jungle oasis. <laughs> well, the funny thing in a two-player game, uh, mm. that's just as good as any other base, because it's a yeah. two-point spread. It's just you get nothing. If you, if you come second and you, you, you don't win, you get nothing for your investment. Yeah. So, it's kind of an all-or-nothing proposition. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was my turn, right? And yeah. I haven't drawn my two, so I'm drawing one and two. I'm done. You can go. Yep, this card. Good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I will discard one card. Hate that card. Potion Bandolier is like the dumbest card ever. I guess there's some circumstances, but. Alright, I'm gonna play an Invader, Trigger the Oasis. <clears throat> Ding, in case of you again. I'm going to play Beam Up, return a minion to its owner's hand. Mm -hmm. And that ends my turn. One, two. Okay, my turn? Yep. First and foremost, draw a treasure card. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> For my minion play, I will play a Fence at the Jungle Oasis, discarding two treasure cards. Ding, ding, ding. We're now tied again in case this game. Uh, because I'm able to pop bases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll draw two cards. I'm done. Larry Lewis, you may go. Sweet. And we'll play an invader in terms of oasis. <laughs> this is fun. <clears throat> I, I definitely say that these decks are, broadly speaking, pretty evenly matched. And beam up, return the uh -huh. minion to its owner's hand. He's going to run out of those cards sooner or later. Just getting the most out of my, mm. my invaders as I possibly can before I eventually have to sacrifice them for base bombing. Uh -huh. Exactly. 
Well, we talked about in the previous video, the big threat is if the uh, aliens, alien faction can get a bit of a point lead, it can be a major problem because then they can just switch gears and start popping bases rather than their, their alternate strategy. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna play a pickpocket. Uh, so pickpocket says, if there's another pickpocket here, draw a treasure card, kind of a waste of time. My action is going to be radioactive exposure. Destroy one of your minions to search your deck for a minion with more power. Play it there as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. Pickpocket dies. And we're going to pull. <clears throat> there she is. There she blows. Captain Amazing. Dun, 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 dun. Talent, give each of your minions here plus one power till the end of the turn. So I have nine. Uh, okay, anyways, I'll draw, draw first and then I'll decide where I'm going to skirt. Yeah, maybe that's interesting too. Hmm. Gonna hold on to that. That's useful. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One discard is required. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of think that's the one. Okay, there's my discard, discard mugging. I'm down to ten. You make it. And it's time for my ginger beer. All right, I'm gonna play a weed eater. Uh, five powers, minions minus two, two power on the turn I play it. So it's only worth three. You're gonna pop the base for me? And then I am going to play Disintegrator. I put this minion power three, unless the bottom of its owner's deck, much as I really don't want to shuffle into your deck. Thank you, that helps. Mm -hmm. Good job. I, I totally forgot about that. That's, yeah, I, I messed up. You added wrong? So that's popping the base, though. Oh, no, it's not popping the that's base. That's not popping the base because it killed your guy. Mm -hmm. Speaking of minus so power eight. on so turn, you power. play it so that the, the. So it's about to go to 10. Yeah. As soon as you draw, it goes to 10. Yeah, it goes to 10, though. Okay. No, I screwed up. I screwed up. It's okay. We don't mind. <laughs> hey, like, I screw up all the time. Wait, so is it my turn? Yeah. Now we gotta play properly. Play properly. <laughs> gotta play properly. Alright. Might have to have another rematch of the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, the, the whole thing about card games is they're inherently statistical. So, part of the idea of this is to play these a few times to see uh, over a larger sample set what actually happens. Okay, my turn. First and foremost, always start Master Thief draws treasure card. Of course, I'm just leaving your Master Thief alone, but uh, I can just bring it right back. So yeah, I know. Expanding energy to to you know get rid of the Master Thief. I know I've I've done it before. I have faced this deck a few times, so I've tried that strategy and it never really worked. Cause you just get it back. That's the problem. Okay, so that's very interesting. A very, very interesting, in fact. Okay, so, Jungle Oasis has 10 points. Yeah. Yeah, oh man, that's kind of tough. Uh, so I do that. No, I'm going to play an action. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, play an action, I'm going to play Swipe, draw another treasure card. Ding. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So, I played... I played an action. I now have a minion play. I'm gonna look back later. Yep. Okay, so, Captain Amazing. Each of your minion series plus one power to the end of the turn. So, the Mild-Mannered Citizen is three power, uh, which puts us at 13. So, it puts me at eight. I'm a little bit worried. I played an action. I played a minion. Um, okay. I got no specials to play. Okay. I, I just messed up on that base, that's all. Okay, fair enough. I just got to hope that two points doesn't okay. cause me to lose. Fair enough. I like that. That's all good. Uh, so, it's two points. I had plans for that base, but I was just... I had my sequence in my head mixed up and... 
Just, and that's good. A great, we're doing a great workout. <laughs> it's good because I screw up all the time. All right, Captain Amazing is now da, 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 gone, but I got my two points for him. Ancient Temple at the start of your turn. If you have only one minion here, it gains plus five power while it is here until the end of the turn. Oh, interesting. All right, so now I have to draw two, and then I think I have to discard two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. So, yay, I drew something that I can discard. The pickpocket sucks. Discarded. One more. One more. What's it going to be? One more. Yeah, I think it will be mild-mannered citizen. He's served his duty, served his function. I can always... So there's two cards in this deck that let me pull back twos into my hand from the discard pile. So uh, I'm not too worried about if I ever need a mild mannered citizen, I can pull them from discard usually. Um, good. I am done. You may go. All right. I'm going to play Invasion. Move a minion to another base. Your Master Thief is going to go to the Castle of Blood. Oh. Oh. He's got some tricky tricks up his sleeve. Not really. Not really. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Water Lily. I'll go and draw a card at the start of each of your turns. Only use one of the Water Lily's ability each each turn. The Castle of Blood. And five, one, two, three. But I believe you have more power than me, so I got plus one. That's true. You get a power token. Which is what I was trying to get. And then I draw two. Uh, this guy's actually plus one. Oh, plus one. So it does it at ten. Yeah. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. All right, you done? Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't have ten cards. No discards. I'm exactly at ten. Beautiful. First and foremost, master thief, drawing treasure. Minion. Mind lady. At the ancient temple, talent choose another player's minion. That the minion's abilities are canceled until the start of your next turn. So no water lily for you on your next turn. Okay. Now this is very high on my list of favorite uh, treasure cards. Well, you got the wishing ring. Uh, no, that would be the top. That would mm. be number one. This is not number one, but it's pretty close. It might be number two. The potion of redundancy potion. Play on a minion. This minion has the ability, talent, use the talent of, sorry, use the talent ability of another minion. So the mind lady is now a second master thief. Oh no. So Ooh. she immediately uses the talent draw treasure card. Ding. Fantastic. Oh. This is where things start to go exponential for me. Yeah, that's what I'm starting, I'm feeling a lot of pressure now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I've played a minion, I've played an action, I've drawn two treasure cards, um, Jesus, things start getting out of control here. In my hand, this is the trouble is, AEG needs to create a faction that has a special focus of expanding the number of cards in your hand, because that's something <laughs> that doesn't exist in the game yet. Maybe they don't want to do it, but... Man, I could use more cards in my hand right now. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten in my hand right now. Uh, I think I'm done, so I'm drawing two. One, two, and I have to discard two. Oh, interesting. All right, my turn? Well, I'm just discarding, but yes, you may go. Yeah. I will discard that one. And one more discard to do, but you're welcome to go. I'm going to play a Water Lily at the Isis Swing Pad. Okay. Another Water Lily. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed. Yeah, I can only cancel one at a time. This is very true. You done this, Curtis? Uh, sorry, am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not. Uh, sorry, I got my mind sort of to wander there. Um, yeah, Jesus. Uh, so we'll, we'll discard the Justice Friends. I don't know, it's really bad idea. Right. So I'll wait until you're done that, just in case you were holding nothing to destroy an action. Play a minion, I'll go out at the start of your turn and destroy this minion. Ah. Really. Very good. And then draw two. My turn? Yep. 
<clears throat> this is where my hand starts exploding. Okay, so I am currently drawing two treasure cards. Uh, uh, did that at the beginning, see what I get. So, yeah. talent. Ha. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you got mind lady, talent. Uh, by the way, just to point out, uh, at the start of your turn, if you have only one minion here, it gains plus five power while it is here until the end of the turn. So she's 10, so give me a 10. I need 10 points to pop the base before she dies. And if I can do it, I can pop a base solo. I have to do some calculations here. Okay. I will play one of my favorite cards, the Cat Burglar. Oh. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a plus one power counter on this minion for each uh, each treasure card that you reveal. All right. Yeah, here you we got go. This here we go. We got uh, the boots of butt kicking, the wishing ring, the wand of dowsing, the magic missile, the chest of holding, and the tiger steed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus three is nine. I'm one point from popping the base. Let's go back into my hand. I have an action to play yet. My action is going to be... My action is going to be... Where is it? I can't find it. There it is. Uh, I will play the Boots of Butt Kicking on the Cat Burglar. Play on a minion, you may play an extra action. This minion is plus one power. That's enough to pop the base. I also have an extra action to play. Uh, my extra action to play is... Wishing Ring! Gain one victory point! Ding, ding, ding! Okay, I'm gonna cash my nine. Uh oh There's money on the ground. I got cash my nine in for a 10. And then you win the base for another four. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm getting there. Um, gain one victory point. Place this card on the bottom of the treasure deck. It's gonna go to the bottom of the treasure deck. Okay. Uh, and yes, now things may complete. I will complete. So, uh, card play, play card phase is done, moving to scoring. No you, specials. Nothing to do? All nope, right. Do nothing. Beautiful, so I get another four, one, two, so what's the game right there? Four, yeah, the yeah, I'm one point from winning. Just back to the game. I'm one point from you winning. You got a fence in your hand that's game over in the next turn. Indeed, right? Here, you take those. <laughs> ding, ding. Okay, so I got some... Okay. When you're playing this deck, you got to make sure that you discard the treasure cards to the treasure discard. Important. You notice how he was building those things up for a bit? That's right. Okay, um, there you go. Oh, I can read it. Don't so you have to read it upside down. Oh, the Golden Lily. That's cool. A new one. Uh, so 18 break point, a 3 2 2. So it's only a one point spread. At the end of your turn, if you have a minion here, draw a card. Whoa. I don't remember having that base out in play before. That's one of the new. New ones, yeah. From, from the new faction. I'm not sure which faction that is. Or the new expansion. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in my hand, drawing two, one, two. I now have to discard one. Um, I'll discard secret stash. <sighs> Mom, do you learn those? My turn? It's your turn. Water Lily. Actually, yeah, I think I probably forgot to mind lady you. Because mine lady would actually last around even, but it's fine. I've got two of them. You can, yeah, exactly. You can only do one anyways. Which is probably why it dropped off my radar. Maybe we'll just have to shuffle everything and roll into a second game. Invader for a victory point. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. Insta grow, play an extra minion. Nice. Oh, well, maybe you'll be able to pop a base without me. Collector. Oh, we're collecting, okay. I'm not gonna be able to pop a base without me. Mm -hmm. Good. Glad to hear that. <clears throat> okay, did you get your victory? 
Yeah, you already got the victory point, right? Yeah. So, and... for the record, I have 14 points, one short from winning, and Larry has nine. Yeah. I'm about to kick here. Okay, my turn? Yep. Talent, Master Thief. Ding, ding, ding. Right. I don't know. Is there any point in continuing? Um, uh, da, 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 da. So we'll go to. Okay, that's not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I can't do that, so we'll do this. <clears throat> I'm going to play a Cat Burglar on Castle Blood. So if I was playing a tournament, generally the tournament layout is for each round you, uh, you retain or record the amount of points you got. So winning the game in a tournament is, is important, but actually running up your points total... Is, yeah. is even is even better. So if you can get more points on the last round, it's the best way to do it. So, uh, Cat Burglar, and then we're going to go... Moving my cards around. Uh, that's... Okay, so treasure one, two, three, four, five. So that's an eight, so we'll just... You want to get a five token? So that's 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, we'll pop the base, exactly, and that was my minion, and now for my action, uh, I will play, well, actually these go back into my hand, I'm, I'm playing faster, uh, smuggling, which is, I have two actions in my deck that are similar to uh, Larry's Alien Invaders. Uh, this is essentially an action version of my fence. So discard two treasure cards to gain one victory point. Shuffle your discard pile into your deck, blah, blah, blah. So, I will discard the Magic Missile and the Potion of Cowardice, two absolute garbage. Well, not entirely garbage, but close to garbage. Actually, a chest of holding is even worse, so <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay, so that gives me my victory point. That puts me at 15. Which will end the game at the end of this turn. Uh, I've played a minion, I've played an action. And notice the game's ending, so I don't mind sacrificing the Master Thief to get a few more points. Because why yeah, not? No specials, so. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So and there we go. up with 10. Uh, and I got three more. So I 18 to 10. Does, does that qualify as uh, as revenge? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now let's be honest. You did you did make one tactical error. Yeah, I did make one. It kind of threw me off a little bit. But... It it cost it, it it gave me two points, and it kind of wasted some of your resources. You only wasted one resource, but the thing is, I needed that card because I wasn't getting much too much other minions. I noticed that. So yeah. it kind of closed me off a little bit. I just last couple of rounds, I started yeah. getting my minions. Like I finally got. My Supreme and my Venus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was like, <clears throat> but I got him too late. It was like the game yeah, was already over. And exactly. Got, you know. So the Venus. So just, just some tactical advice. So the Mind Lady is super awesome, uh, and she can cancel any any ability. So Venus Mad Trap is brutal early because she can pull. Basically, what it means is he can pull a sprout. Uh, a sprout every turn. The sprout can pull. A invader. invader of return. It's a, it's it's basically a, a victory point factory without popping anything. Yeah. So the mind lady can can stop that. Um, the interesting pull out your your alien. You never you never get your alien boss. Like you. Well, never, I, I just got him. No, but I'm saying you never play yeah. him. Like you just never get him. Yeah. yeah he's uh, my, like he's... the last three or four. Yeah, I just got him with my hand like my last draw. So the the Supreme Overlord, the thing about him is he can return any minion to its owner's hand, period. So Master Thief, boom. And then... Uh, what I was planning to do was do a bounce your Master Thief off and then play Probe. Just uh, take a chance at it, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got other hand. ways to get it back, but it would definitely slow me down if yeah. not. Yeah. That was that was my plan for, yeah. for when it came around to me. Yeah, exactly. I was going to bounce your Master Thief. So the thing is, if you can bounce the Master Thief back to my hand, I can play it again, but... Uh, I, I, it loses the um, any of the actions played on. Yeah. 
Uh, or, or actually, the Supreme Overlord could also balance the Cat Burglar, and that would get rid of the five token. Yeah. Um, but then that doesn't change the fact that I still probably have a shit ton of treasure in my hand. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so uh, that's our. Uh, uh, I, I call it revenge, but it's yeah. the rematch. Um, the previous game that we played that we recorded, and that's that's up already. Uh, we got towards the end. It was very close. And uh, it's hard to say which way it would have went. It could have gone either way. Um, I think I had momentum until he... In, in that other game, Larry popped a base that got rid of both my Master Thief and the Potion of Redundancy uh, potion. Yeah. So I, was, I was also drawing two treasure a turn. Yeah. So... Because um, you, moved, you moved the one person to the actually, base. Actually, in the other game, I had the Wishing Ring on the bottom, and I, only, I was only four cards from the bottom yeah. in that game. Yeah. So I think... Uh, you you ha I don't know what tricks you had up your sleeve, but if you didn't have any tricks up your sleeve, I had the game pretty yeah. much locked. Yeah. But you have lots of potential tricks, so I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say how that game would have turned out. Yeah. Well, you popped that one four, four base in the end, basically sealed my fate. So. So the thing I like about this deck is it can do things that aliens do, not as fast and not as prolonged, but yeah. enough. It's got a lot of options. Because the superheroes have cool options, so you can pull the superhero fives. Uh, but the treasure, the treasure deck becomes like your third deck. And there's lots of cool stuff in the treasure deck. And uh, that gives you lots of options as well. Uh, so I find that it's... Oh, and, and, and the thing too is that those... Cap, there's three cap burglars. Three cap burglars. Yeah, you can see how quickly he powered those things up. With, I, with I had cards. all three cap burglars in my hand. Yeah. And... <laughs> Uh, like when it's when this deck gets rolling, yeah, you can you can drop a it's it's common to drop a cap regular for nine power ten power yeah. the boom, a single minion play ten power bang yeah, plus whatever a lot of people don't think the thieves are that powerful but if you get them going no, like the master thief yeah. they're 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 brutal so yeah, yeah. It, watch definitely definitely watch the other video we talked about different things, um, mm. but I I think that this deck is a candidate. I think it's a strong candidate for the best combination in the game. Because it's all about the Master Thief, and you can keep getting the Master Thief out. Like there's, like I said, when I earlier played it on, I tried to get rid of the Master Thief all the time. He just kept getting it out. All you can do is slow him down. I mean, but, but slowing him down, it's not slowing me down, it's slowing Master Thief down. That's yeah. the name of the game. But anyways, so 18 to 10, I think that qualifies as a blowout. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. in, uh, in two player games it's pretty common for games to end two points um, the other games that we played I think they all pretty much ended with a two point this I think is the biggest blowout we've had in quite a while actually of, of yeah yeah so I don't no know terraforming in the word yeah thing. no terraforming yeah, yeah. so, so Larry, the crop circles didn't, you didn't get crop circles I didn't get, crop circles. Didn't get didn't terraforming no. so Larry didn't get a lot of the big cards that could have turned things around yeah um, so again Card games are inherently statistical, so we got to play this combo against each other a few times to get a, a sense of, uh, you know, like what what is the probable outcome. Uh, and on that note, mm, I wonder what time it is. Yeah, well, it's, it's a Sunday night. Yeah. So should 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 we um, stop the video and, and do a do a second one? Well, maybe. Maybe okay. Well, we're, uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna log out and uh, take a break, and then we might be back soon. <laughs>